all our gear dried up and ready to rock, we left Countryside Motel and headed southwest, attempting to make it to Alberta today. Soon the roads turned back to the gravel and we came across a pretty cool spot to play around. Fucking sand! There goes a car. Right there. After we explored around a little bit, we headed off in the direction we needed to go, and that led us down miles and miles of this deep sandy road.
once in a while, we would come across these gates. Can you hold that? Doesn't need much, just the kickstand's gonna sink. I got it, buddy. I got it. Hmm. What? Uh, no, the, the Velcro strap just let go. So after we got Matt's tool strapped back down, we run away across a bunch of open fields split up with random patches of bush. It was pretty cool and lasted for quite a few kilometers. Although there were patches of deep sand that kept catching us both off guard, almost washing out the front tires from underneath us, which kept it exciting. What? Shit like this when you steering damper. Right? Are you struggling as much as I am right now? Fuck yeah, I almost went down like fucking four times. I don't mean to fuck. Just a second. Uh, it's a good thing the roads don't wind and weave around all these little lakes and bodies of water. And it's a good thing they put the road right through the water or crossing the prairies would take all year. And as you'll see, that this is a regular occurrence. But it makes for a pretty cool view. We had put on quite a few miles this morning and it was time for a break. Luckily enough, we ended up pulling off and riding through this field to one hell of a view. Right there? Wow. Whew. Know, eh? Amazing. Holy fuck. 
Just trying to find the closest town or something to us. Are you guys hitting Alberta today or no? Oh, that, yeah. that is the plan. After a bit of a water break and a call to family, we were back on the road, trying our best to make up some time from the last few days. Some rain and wind not quite allowing us to make our 500 kilometer a day mark. Actually, we very rarely were able to make it 500 kilometers a day. That aim was a little bit ambitious. Some days we struggled for 200 kilometers. So keep that in mind if you're ever going to embark on a long adventure like this. And also keep in mind that neither of us have ever done a long distance ride prior to crossing Canada. Talk about diving into the deep end. Think the road continues over there? Must, eh? And this is where we encountered our first real moment of being lost. The GPS route took us directly through this lake, and there was definitely no way through this lake. We looked around, and there was no way around it either. What are you thinking? Want to go down there? and thought about it, but we ended up turning back and finding a different route around. We took our detour and eventually it was time to find a spot to cook up some lunch. We scoped out this lake on the GPS and we headed right for it. Ended up being a really cool spot, slightly challenging to get down to despite the camera making it look like nothing. All our extra weight and that small foot and a half drop down into loose rocks was just enough to throw you off balance and say, oh shit. Holy fucking beauty spot, wow. So we're at Buffer Lake, northeast of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, out to this view here. This was a random gem we found while trying to find a way around the lake we were unable to cross. So after we cooked up some lunch, we are off to figure out how to get back on the tea pad. Did I? No.
you'll see here it's trickier than it looked. Then we came to our second challenge. How do we get this ferry to work? I don't know how to trigger this thing. Our first time coming up to a ferry, we were a little bit confused, but it was pretty easy. The guy just seen us and came on over. What? He just got off lunch. Oh, there's the guy right there. Throughout the trip, we ended up crossing quite a few of these ferries between here and BC.
started the set and we were still many miles away from Alberta's border, we decided to call it a day at one of the bridges over the water we had followed for quite some time at this point. It turned out to be a pretty sweet spot. Sweet that is for being smack dab in the middle of farm country and having no bush or anywhere to go to camp. I think we should set up here. What's that? I think we should set up here. I think we should set up here. Yeah. I think this is a great spot. Yeah. Let's set up right in the middle of the bridge. Yeah? Might as well. Nice and flat. Nice and flat. Fucking have a fire there, not nothing to worry about. True. We can get to either side of the creek. Yeah, we could wash, we could jump in, we could clean all right there. Yeah. What's that, Jess? Fucking beauty fucking creek though. Oh man, we can jump right in. And chemicals. It looks clean though. It looks clean. No. How hard it is to find camp in the middle of farmland. Talk to Jess. Hey Jess. GoPro. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so this is camp spot whatever it is. Two weeks in. Just over two weeks in. 